I'm Rainer Ramirez. Today's world is furnished with mass-produced goods, but there's one company in New York's Chelsea neighborhood that continues to go against the grain. For almost 70 years, Mia Shoji has been creating handmade Japanese shoji screens, furniture, and lamps right here in New York. Hisa Hanafusa is the owner. You look at the table. It's no human statement, more nature statement. Don't have to design. Channeling the shape of nature into Mia Shoji's pieces is a philosophy rooted in the centuries-old tradition of woodworking that can be found in temples throughout China, Korea, and Japan. You figure out, dovetail. One is easy, but two, three, four-sided. Hisao came to New York in 1963 to pursue his passion for painting and found work at the Mia Company using the skills he learned growing up in Japan. Yeah, this is a local cherry wood. This portable table Hisao made 50 years ago is a replica of the one he used as a child in Miyazaki, Japan. But pretty much that's the whole method of how everything we make Mirror image. No nails, no screws. You know why? We cannot afford it to buy a nail. <laughs> Zui Hanafusa joined his father to continue the legacy of the shop, which was founded in New York City as the Mia Flower and Novelty Company by Chasuki Miyahira back in 1937. During World War II, the flower shop employed Japanese Americans who were relocated from the West Coast by the War Relocation Authority. After the war, the company diversified and started making shoji screens using wood native to the East Coast. The real way of actually making stuff is to actually use the actual material that's around the area. And it wasn't just for, you know, some sort of the good of mankind, or it actually was the good for nature. In the 1970s, the Mia company split in two when Mr. Miyahira sold the imported goods business to his nephew, which continues to this day as the Mia company. And Hisao took over the woodworking business under the Mia Shoji name. Zui took us to their workshop to show us some of the tradition ingrained in their craftsmanship. You gotta sharpen the tools so you have good cut. It's almost like sashimi. You have sashimi or you have fish bait. So you have to always sharpen your tools. Each piece of wood is hand planed to achieve a finish that's smooth as silk. And the shoji screens are built to reflect how the trees grow. You could see it. So even here, you have you know, top of the tree, you have the bottom. The frames are interwoven to ensure its strength and durability. So in 1955, we created the shoji to be almost like a picture frame. So you could put the paper inside and you could see on both sides because they were going into apartments to separate rooms, lofts. So it's two-sided from Japan to New York City and adapting. Today, Mia Shoji continues to adapt in order to compete in a world accustomed to what Hisao and Zui call a disposable life. When you're just looking at the actual business like a, a ship, you know, is it sinking? Maybe it's sinking, but you know what? You know, we could still make it to land. Whether it's my father, the carpenters, and myself, it's something that we look at it like a ship that we could sail across the ocean. Two generations of Japanese American craftsmen continue to create their art. For Asian American Life, this is Rainer Ramirez.